Hey everyone, Matt here with Mosif to show you how to set up metered billing with Stripe. So once you've logged in to Mosif, what you'll see at the bottom, in the bottom left here, is billing meters. So we're going to click on that and that's going to bring us to this screen here. Now if we haven't set up a billing provider yet, that's our first step. And for this we're going to be setting up Stripe. So I will click on Stripe here. Now you could also do it through here if you came this way, did extensions, you can then do billing and click on Stripe here. All that's going to get the same result. I will do it this way though just because I find it's a little bit easier. So edit billing provider, do Stripe. And now you'll see that I've got a few things that I need to do. I'm going to need to add in a webhook in Stripe, and then I'm going to have to plug Stripe into Mosif. But this is all quite simple for us to do. So I'm going to grab this endpoint URL, and I'm going to head over to Stripe here. Now I've already logged into Stripe. You'll also see that I've already created a product, a couple products, and I've created some pricing plans with that. I can go over those with you in a little bit to show you how it's displayed in Mosif because Mosif is able to pull those details in so that you can build based on that criteria. Firstly, I'm gonna head over to developers though and then come over to webhooks. I'll do add an endpoint. I'll paste in my endpoint here that I grabbed, which you can see here. I'll put the description as Mosif endpoint. And now I need to select events. So select events to listen to and I need to come down here to customer and check off all customer events. Then do add events, scroll down to the bottom and do add endpoint. And now at this point, we've created the, the webhook. So from that perspective, we are integrated in with Mosif. But we need to now bring some stuff over from Stripe into Mosif as well. And that's in the form of API keys. So if you wanna create a restricted key, you can. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab this test key from here. If I click, I will copy it, come back over to billing meter, we'll click plus Stripe again. And then what I can do, I've already added the webhook in Stripe. Now I can come down here and paste this API key here. Now, currently we only support the Stripe API version for 2020-08-27, but in the future, we will likely support more, but this is what we're currently supporting. Now, optionally, what we can do is, depending on how we have customers mapped in Stripe, we can make sure that the MOSIF field, which is company ID or user ID, is mapped to the correct Stripe subscription object field. For default, I'm gonna leave it as ID, but if you do want to do some type of customization there, you can, and you can actually check out some more details on that if you, by clicking this link here. I'm going to make sure that I have extension enabled and then click save. And you'll see that all of this is set up now. Now what I can do is click plus add billing meter. I'll call this new billing meter. I can select my billing provider, which is Stripe. I can select a product, which I have a couple of products that I can choose from here. We're going to pretend that we're going to have a credit score API. Um, so we'll click on this product here. And then I'll also click on this credit score API call. And that's the price they're going to be charged. And the event will be where request URI route is slash get credit score, where the response status code is 200. So we know it was successful. 200 and the event type is API call. And that's going to be our criteria to bill on. So as we can see right now, we have no data found, but all of this below here is gonna give you a little bit of an idea of what that metric currently looks like. So you can, you can view that in basically bar chart format. It doesn't mean that it's going to retroactively bill for that, um, but it does give you an idea just to make sure that your filter is set up correctly. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click create. Now when you create a billing meter, you are not able to ever delete that billing meter. All you can do is turn it off and archive it. So you're not able to, to tweak the configuration or delete it. 
what you'll have to do is if the configuration wasn't quite right, you would disable this one and then you would create a new one is what you would do, okay? And that's for auditing purposes. I'll click create billing meter. And then if I come back, you'll see that I have a my new billing meter, which is the name that I gave it, that the billing provider here is Stripe, the plan is credit score API, and the add-on is credit score API call or the price. And you can see that it was created. Now I can toggle that on and off here if I wanted to. And then if I toggle it off, it will no longer send usage statistics to that billing provider for that plan. And I can also archive and clone this as well. If I do want to edit it, I can go here, but the only thing I'll be able to edit would be the name. I, I'm not actually able to edit the billing provider or the filter that's used here. Now, that being said, let's take a look at exactly how I have Stripe set up. So I did mention that I have a couple of products set up. The one that we used was this credit score API. So you can see here, that I have a credit score API that starts at $5 per month. And if we look a little closer at the actual prices, if we click here, you can see the prices. And I have it set up so that the first one to 100 calls are gonna be priced at $5 per unit or per call. The next 101 to 1000 are gonna be priced at $3 per call. And then for the rest will be $2 per call. This is a way to do tiered billing. And that is the info that you see got pulled back here from Stripe, uh, credit score API, credit score API call, and we can link that back here. This pricing is called credit score API call, which you can see here. And at this point, now, as we start to get usage come in, every single hour, MOSIF is going to send updated usage statistics to Stripe so that Stripe can then tally up that total and then bill the user at the end of the month. Another thing to mention about when setting up products is to make sure that the usage type is metered usage, the aggregation mode is sum across all usage records during period, interval should be monthly, and then the currency and the price per unit can be configured, but you should try and stick to those defaults if you want this to work correctly. Now, with that being said, we have everything set up and that's how simple it is to get usage, metered usage, all of that sent over into Stripe so that you can start billing on these.